Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to make pepper giza. Now this is very very spicy so if you don't have the heart this is not for you. It's so tasty and you know the giza lovers out there. This is another recipe you can try. So without wasting much time let's just get started. So I'm going to need lots and lots of onions. Then I'm going to need some garlic. I'm going to add the garlic to the onions and just blend everything up. I'm going to need some ginger too. Then I'm going to need hot pepper. This is hot hot pepper. These are red hot peppers. This is what we call chili pepper. Then I'm going to come in with some cloves. I'm just using a little bit because I don't want it too much. Now I'm going to come in with some, you know, anise, okay? I've soaked the pepper in water because it was dried pepper. So I want it to be very easy to blend. So I'm just going to come in with the pepper and I'm going to mash everything out. I'm going to blend it together. So this is a blender, ginger, pepper, you know, anise and cloves. Now this is the blended onions and garlic. So I'm gonna set them aside. Now obviously you're gonna need some gizzard and I have here my fresh gizzard. Now I'm gonna cut them into very tiny pieces. It's so easy to eat that way. So this is what we have here after chopping them into tiny pieces. And don't forget to wash them very well. So I'm going to get my pan and put in my gizzard. I remember we're doing this on medium fire. Now I'm going to come in with my garlic and onion mix. I'm going to use about five spoons or maybe six. I'm going to come in with my ginger and chili pepper mix. Just two tablespoons because you know it's hot. I'm going to come in with my favorite meat seasoning. Then I'm going to put in some white pepper. Guys, we're using lots of pepper here. I'm going to come in with some black pepper. Then I'm going to come in with my dark soy sauce. Then obviously I'm going to come in with some white wine. And I'm just going to cover it up to cook for about 30 minutes. It has to be very well cooked. It's been after 30 minutes and this is it. It's cooked, it's uh, you know smells good and it tastes good. So I'm gonna get another non-stick pan and put in some oil. Then I'm gonna come in with about two spoons of the onion mix. I will allow it to fry for about two to three minutes. Then come in with one spoon of the ginger and hot pepper mix. I'm going to mix everything up and let it cook for about three more minutes. Then I'm going to come in with some concentrated tomato. This is about one tablespoon. I'm going to mix everything up. And I'm going to come in with just a little bit of nutmeg. So I hope you didn't throw your stock away because you're gonna need about two lettuce. This will give you that extra flavor. Just mix it up and cover it up and just let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Don't forget you're doing this on low fire. I'll just drop in a little bit of my sweet soy sauce. And a little bit of my, you know, favorite seasoning. It's been about 15 minutes and as you can see, it is ready. The stew is ready. So I'm just going to come in with the cooked gizzard. I'll mix it up and, you know, kind of stir fry it for about 15 minutes. I just want some of the, you know, water, the liquid inside to evaporate. So three minutes before it is ready, I'm just going to drop in some chopped, you know, sweet peppers. I do love the smell of sweet pepper. When it's ready, just put off the fire and come in with some parsley. Now give it a final mix and ladies and gentlemen, it is ready. And of course, I'm gonna need some spring onions. 
just sprinkle a little bit of spring onions on it you can just imagine the taste of gizzard with spring onions guys it's so good so here we are our pepper gizzard is ready it tastes so good it smells so good but it's only for the strong hearted if you are not strong you cannot eat this because it's gonna burn you need to eat this with you know a glass of cold water wine or you know anything cold because you're gonna need it okay guys so i hope you like this video if you're not subscribed please don't forget to hit the subscribe button right now don't just watch it please give it a try and let me know how it came out for you don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to share this with your family and friends until next time i'm gonna see you again with another nice and interesting one bye bye